Yes, this is Mr. Bremer. You took my car in to be repaired, didn't you? Yes, sir, just like you said. They'll try to have it for you as soon as they can. All right, then. Good night. Mind telling us what you're doing? I'd say that was none of your business, Lieutenant. Well, if you say so, but uh, it's going to be kind of hard to explain, isn't it? I mean, breaking and entering, that's against the law. Checking the trunk of your car, what in the world were you looking for? Papers. Or a case. I thought they were here. It's an emergency. Why don't you admit it? You were searching the trunk because that's where you hid the body. All right, what's the next step? Why don't we go downtown and talk it over? Am I under arrest? I guess you could On say so. On what evidence? I think it's going to be more comfortable downtown. All right. Let's get this farce over with. Grab his arm. It was an accident, Arthur. It wasn't premeditated. I hardly knew your wife. I didn't want to hurt either one of you. It happened. How'd you get it? I got it from the cut on her cheek in your ring. You never should have let me read your palm. Because then I felt the ring and I felt the two diamonds sticking out in that raised rectangular border. That matched up with the cut on her cheek. You should have taken that job.
You know, we're lucky Lenore lost this. Uh, she didn't lose it. What? When I spoke to the medical examiner at the cemetery, he told me that both contact lenses were on the body. But that's impossible. If it isn't hers, whose was it? Who knows? Anyway, it doesn't make any difference. The fact that it's not the real contact lens, that doesn't count. What does count is Mr. Brimmer's actions. Coming here tonight, trying to get rid of that thing, and doing it all in front of witnesses. All you've done if the car hadn't broken down. You couldn't set up this trap. Well, I guess we would have found some other way. You know what this place reminds me of? Just seeing all these cars. You know, uh, in our neighborhood, we had a bunch of jokers. I mean, we were a real wild bunch of guys. And we figured out a perfect way to put a car out of commission. You take a potato, you stick it in the exhaust pipe. It doesn't cause any damage, but the car won't start. It was a terrible thing to do. And I got a feeling that the reason I became a cop was to make up for all those jokes I played when I was a kid. One more.